there's new Spider-Man 2 content. There isn't much new information to be found in these new videos, and rather just an elaboration on previous features we already knew would be in the game. Although, I am happy to see a bunch of press going around for this game. Twitter has really been a cesspit for the last 24 hours. We get a bunch of new shots of Brooklyn and Queens in-game, including Brooklyn Visions Academy, it's really awesome to get to see Miles Morales' world start to shift into the typical version of the Spider-Man playground we always get. Plus, I like that I got a bunch of new room in my sandbox. What can I say? I'm very easy to please. I'm such a liar. I've been such a tough ass throughout the entire lead up to this game. Insomniac! I'm sorry! It's interesting to know that the Prowler is going to have his own set of side missions to play. I wonder if Insomniac is going to have us team up with a reformed Prowler for a couple missions. I at least hope they slightly updated his design a bit. His suit was always a bit too tactical for my taste. What's interesting though is that Peter is the one who's able to see these missions, meaning it could be possible that Peter can team up with Prowler for a few missions? Either that or the game makes you switch out for Miles with the easy Spider-Man switching system. I'm really excited to see how customizable Miles and Peter are going to be in game with all these new costumes. I'm going to go through each one we see one by one as they come up. In this trailer we see the return of the shadow spider suit for Miles and brand new footage of one of Miles Morales' cleanest looks, the 10th anniversary suit by Chase Conley. I'm so happy to see this one in game. I never doubted that it would be here since Miles Morales is a relatively new character, meaning he doesn't have as much of a costume backlog as Peter does. I'm happy it's here. I'm so happy and I can't wait to see it in game. Insomnia Insomniac then shows us a new look for Peter where he's wearing green military pants and seems to be wearing a cuffless version of the classic costume. This might not actually be a new look though. If I had to guess, this looks like a redesign of an Elseworld costume Peter Parker wore from a Civil War Secret War storyline. But it looks pretty good though. I'm happy to see that they added a full mask for Peter to wear over it. They obviously can't have Spider-Man running around without his mask on. Yeah, this was a given, but it's still pretty cool. I appreciate Insomniac always going through the effort to get these movie suits in game. I know a lot of people on Twitter have been complaining about the model not exactly being accurate and, you know, showing off some fan mods to say that they did it better. I mean, it's close enough for me, okay? I, I, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. Although, I do wish Insomniac could confirm whether or not we're going to be seeing the rest of the suits from the previous installment in the sequel. They might have confirmed it in some interview or article somewhere and I just haven't seen it yet but I wish they said it in the trailer. We do see a couple of returning suits here though, that being Classic Miles, his track suit, the training suit, and the 2099 suit. Not to mention his space suit showing up from Spider-Man Life Story. That's a cool ad I've been seeing a lot of people ask for. Not only that, the purple rain suit is back too, along with Aaron Davis's iron spider suit. Kai from the future here, I forgot to mention that you can also see one of Ben Riley's newer costumes here. I'm, I know a lot of people hate this design, but I think it's one that can be fixed, and I think Insomniac is definitely the right people to put this suit in the hands of. Uh, I'm excited to see how Insomniac spruces up this design and makes it much more favorable. Please do not add the fucking mouth onto it. Anyway. All of these suits come with recolors, which I've been really anticipating seeing. Not all of these recolors are winners, but there are a couple cool and decent ones here. Oh shit, it's Superior Spider-Man! That's cool, I'm glad they aren't saving this plotline for later. Uh, check out that recolor in the back. I'm pretty sure this is a reference to that weird Dr. Octopus Spider-Man hybrid suit. I actually kinda like it here. Oh shit, they got fucking Webman here! Why do they have two versions of the classic suit, though? The only change is that one of them has a white logo. <laughs> this kind of feels like a waste of a spot. It is nice to see a red and black version of the classic suit, though, which is going to look super cool next to Miles in his classic suit. That's pretty much all the new suits to discuss that came in this one trailer, but we did get a second trailer with all the digital expansion pack suits that I covered in the last video. I might have been a wee bit harsh on these suits last time, considering I couldn't fully see them like I can here. But I'm at least happy to say that I feel a little bit better about some of these designs now that I can see them fully. But there are still a couple here that I'm not sure I vibe with at all. I think the tactical suit looks fine, along with the stone monkey and the spaceman Spider-Man. Honestly, the best of the bunch looks like the Arantia suit. Arantia suit? Aran Arantia suit. This suit is what the integrated suit from No Way Home wishes it could be. But this apocalyptic suit? 
This mask looks funny. It's definitely the way the lenses look over the web pattern. I don't... I don't like the way he's looking at me. Pretty much all the Miles suits I spoke highly of in the last video look great here. I really love the- WAIT A DAMN MINUTE! There's footage of Spider-Man flinging a missile onto Kraven's soldiers resulting in a close range explosion. Those men weren't wearing armor, Spider-Man! Oh my- Please go watch my Spider-Man Brutality video. It's so good, and like, only a third of my audience has seen it. Did you guys know he's supposed to be doing a crossover with 616 Peter soon, too? I can't wait for Peter PlayStation to ask him who Paul is. Anyway, back on topic. The Red Spectre and the Encoded Suit both look amazing as I expected. I'm excited to check out an open world with all these new outfits, too. I know Mysterio is gonna have some parts in this game, which I'm really excited to see. Mysterio's always been one of the kookier Spider-Man villains, and I'm happy to see him in a universe where a lot of the villains have been a lot more of the grounded ones. Wait. Is that fucking Spider-Verse shit? Is that shit glitching? There's only so many times I can, like, act surprised for the video script. Like... It's Spider-Verse! Oh my god! Pogface, Pogface, Pogface! Now, I don't want to jump the gun and get everyone riled up and look silly later, but... Mr. Brian Intahar says that this is an unfamiliar Spider-Bot ping. And there's only one suspect on the board right now, and I'll give you a hint. He has an AI girlfriend. You know, I think I was being way too harsh on Insomniac in my last video. But... There is one thing I actually want to complain about that I think is well within my right. Why is Spider-Man using these robot legs so much in this trailer? Like, I get thinking that Peter might need some extra sauce to make him as fun to play alongside Miles, but... We have the symbiote in this game for that. Do we really need Peter to be whipping out these spider legs on finishers all the time? I hope that I at least get to turn the option off, because I worry about how much it'll change the physical dynamic of Spider-Man. And I much rather preferred the classic four-limbed acrobatic fighting style over the expansion pack with the massive motherfucker legs. I don't know, it's just a big change that I hope isn't too forced on the player. I don't really have much to say outside of this. I think Insomniac is doing a really good job on this game, and I wish everyone on the team the best, and I'm so sorry for being so mean in my last video. Now can I please get a review copy, please? Please? Please, 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 please. I promise, I promise, I'll be so much nicer. I'll make all the new suits for your games. Please, I'll make them in, in cosplay and I'll wear them. If you invite me to, invent, uh, to events, I'll, I'll wear the white spider suit, please, any kind. I even want to make the advanced suit. I bought white carbon fiber for it, please. I'll do it. Insomniac, please, I'll be your Spider-Man, please. You can even have Trey come through. I'll make him the Miles suit from the game. I'm begging you. Please acknowledge me. Please, I'm begging you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all when I play the video game. I'm probably going to be playing it live.